Howdy world, this is Choice Specs, coach of the Orlando Magikarps, bringing you NPA Season 3, Week 13, with our battle against Professor Willow in United Kingler. Uh, this is a very fun battle, once again, post-commentary. Um, I had my child in my lap during this fight, so Willow kind of had a little bit of an advantage there. <laughs> um, so I couldn't do live recording just because he was uh, sitting in my lap, and that would probably make for some bad commentary. Um, and yeah, so me and Willow both said we were probably going to meme it up a little bit for this battle. He said he was for sure. Uh, I said I was. I was going to, just because uh, there was a chance I could still get the number one seed for our division if I won and both my opponents lost. So I brought a normal Snorlax, but everything else is a little weird, <laughs> and things did not go as planned, but uh, we can jump right into this battle, because this was a couple of days ago now, and so some of this I'm probably not going to remember, so let's just uh, go in here and see what happens. Um, he leads with Regirock, and I, re I led Scolipede, thinking I could baton pass some stuff here. And I was wrong. So he's got Red Rock in here. And he's got my beautiful shiny Scullypede here. And so first turn, I'm just like, I'm just gonna go for Sword Stance. Because <laughs> I got the Focus Sash, so regardless of what he does, I can Baton Pass out of here. But... he got <coughs> Rock Polish. And this is where I go wrong. I should have Baton Passed out of here this turn. But I don't. Oh wait, no I did, I did, I did, I forget. He gets the flinch, is why I don't baton pass out of here. And uh, he outspeeds me, so I can't do anything. I just decided let's go if he died. Um, I'm running a physical septile this week, because I wanted to bring some heat. And I was going to baton pass sword stance to it. But uh, that didn't happen, so... I'm already down a Pokemon, this is looking great. So I bring in my Sceptile here. Um, big Red X. Hit it with an Earthquake. And I set off its weakness policy. So this thing is a super, super scary. And he goes for Rock Polish. And I'm just like, oh crap. This thing's gonna sweep me. This thing is just going to sweep me. But luckily, I'm holding that Focus Sash, and my Unburden, I am now quicker than it, even at a plus four speed, which allows me to hit it. And, uh, yeah, so now I outspeed. And Leaf Blade picks up the kill here. So, Physical Sceptile picking up a kill. That's fun. I was really scared of that. Honestly, really scared of that there. So we've got spicy rocks in here. Um, I can't do much. And there's no point in trying to save this thing, especially if you tried to set up rocks, which I wasn't sure I was going to do. So I just go for some damage here and just let him sack me off, pretty much. Or I try to sack off Sceptile, anyways. But, uh... <laughs> he goes for Shell Smash! Ugh. This is, this is a good match. I'm remembering uh, everything now. This was this was a fun match. So now this thing is you know super beastly. Still not fast because my unburdened. So I'm not too scared of that. But I just go go for some damage. If I got a high roll. Maybe I could potentially kill him, but no, not not so lucky. <laughs> and now he's at a what plus three speed because of this. <laughs> We have a plus three Thorful out. Sceptile's down. Okay. So I'm running out effing owns, and he just goes for an explosion! Uh, if I would've for Belly Drum here, that would've been good. But, uh, I did no such thing. So... Torkoal goes down! to himself, <laughs> and I'm back at full health here, pretty much. So, he sends in George Bush, the Tangela here, and this thing was a pain. It was a pain in my butt. Getting that, getting that boost here. I'm just going for my berry back. And this is where fun happens. I mentioned my son was in my lap, 
he smacks my 3DS here while I'm trying to think, what should I do? And I'm doing damage calculations. I'm like, I should just go ahead and click Facade. But uh, my son's like, oh wait, never mind, never mind, never mind. okay. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I go Belly Drum, my bad. I forgot I hadn't set up yet. Okay, this turn now. I'm sitting here doing calcs, I'm like, uh, Facade's not gonna do all that much, but it'll still hurt it. And my son's like, no. No, Dad. You should totally, totally go for Earthquake. Earthquake will do the most damage. So I'm like, sure. <laughs> Let's Earthquake him. As he presses Earthquake. Uh, so that does nothing. Um, and even if I had clicked Facade, I still don't think it would have uh, killed, or definitely wouldn't have killed, but uh, I don't think I would have two-shot him just because the Giga Drain would have healed him up enough. Yeah, definitely would have two-shot, so... <sighs> Snorlax does um, nothing here. He goes for Ancient Power, trying to get the boosts. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna bring in my Mandibuzz, which was another Pokemon I was gonna try to... S baton pass into. But I get, at least I get to get the Evie light off. And, uh, this thing's not as beastly, but it's still it's still dumb bulky. And it hurts a lot. But that was also a crit. So that sucks. Um, so I'm thinking, I don't know what I can do to this, really. I'm trying to do the Calyx and also balancing a child in my lap, so I'm just go for the roost, heal up, hope that Age of Power, he does a, doesn't get the boost, to B, another crit. So I see this one doesn't do nearly as much damage, so... Um, I'm back in Brave Bird, because I was going to do a really stupid set and pass Iron Defense and Swords Dance from my Poison Point Scully Peep into Mandibuzz, so I could just Brave Bird everything to death and knock off. And I was like, that does some good damage, I can totally pick this thing off, but Synthesis. Never mind. I'm thankful the sun wasn't up, but I'm like, I don't do 50% with a Brave Bird. I do 40% with a Brave Bird. <laughs> because Mandibuzz isn't a great attacker. Um, I heal up. I'm trying to decide if I want to stall war him. Because uh, he also can't 50% me without crits. Unless he keeps getting the uh, boost from Ancient Power. So I was debating if I should try and stall war or not, and I was like, eh, I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sack it off and just Brave Bird, maybe I get him low enough that I can pick him off with Pyroar. And like I said, yeah, it does about 40%. So I'm just like, please, please just stay in. Oh, that did a wipe. Yeah. There's a good chunk there. <laughs> um... So yeah, I decide I'm not going to stall, uh, try to stall him. I'm just going to Brave Bird, and hopefully he doesn't go for Synthesis, so I can then die and bring him Pryor and clean up here a little bit. But he goes for Synthesis. So I'm thinking, hopefully <laughs> next turn he doesn't does do Synthesis and just kills me off, because I'm not trying to stall war here. It was just a meme battle, and... I was I was pretty terrified of that first Regirock, but uh, George Bush was way more of a pain. It takes out two of my Pokemon, two bulky, bulky Pokemon, and he does finally go for the kill here, and Mandibuzz goes down. So now it's four on two, but I got my MVP Pyroar here. Uh, obviously I outspeed, so I can just click Flamethrower if he swaps out whatevs, but he stays in, so Flamethrower picks up a kill, and that is just fantastic. Pyroar gets another kill. So this is where everything goes right. He brings in Thug's Bunny, assuming I'm going to swap out here. He assumes I'm going to swap out. I found out afterwards he did bring the wrong one anyways, but he assumes I'm going to swap, so he goes for Ice Punch, thinking I'm going to go in Dragonite. But no. I am running Grassinium Z Pyroar, and I'm gonna hit this thing with a super, super powerful Bloom Doom. Which, thankfully, it was not sashed. 
So Pyroar picks up another kill here. And it's beautiful. Pyroar is now at nine kills, zero deaths. Pyroar is my <laughs> unintentional MVP. So he brings in Gothitelle here, not a phase, and uh, I cal say can't do so much to me, so I just go for Hyper Voice, and it does a pretty good chunk of damage. But he starts setting up Calm Lines. And I'm thinking, this isn't great. But even at a plus one, I was like, this thing shouldn't be able to kill me. Uh, max roll, it might, but I took the risk, stayed in, did another Hyper Voice. And it goes for Psychic, and this does a good bit. Surviving with that 11 HP. This is where I pull off Rain Dance. Rain Dance Pyroar. Why does Pyroar learn Rain Dance? I don't know. But it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. And he... Unfortunately, Pyroar takes his first death of, death of the season. So he's 1 in 9. So it's not too bad. But now I got Elliot back on the field. And this week, Elliot's running choice specs in Thunder and Hurricane. So, thanks to Pyroar, I just get to obliterate, <laughs> obliterate, uh, Gothitel there. And he just has Taylor on the back, which I ran a timid, or jolly? No, timid, yeah, I ran a timid, uh, Dragonite just for Taylor so I could outspeed it. And <laughs> it, costs, it gets me the win. 1-0 win against Willow. Once again, Willow, that was very fun. We were actually messaging each other back and forth during that battle. Uh, especially when that rain dance went off. Um, so yeah, we are going to playoffs. Uh, thank you again, Willow, for the battle. It was stupid fun. Stupid amounts of fun. And yeah, we're going to playoffs. I honestly don't know who we're playing. Um... I don't know how this whole division stuff works, but I, I think we either fight um, Seattle Sea Kings or um, is it Seattle Star Raptors? So we could potentially fight Johto again, or I think we do Seattle Star Raptors. I'm not sure. Sorry, I'm looking at this. Uh, I'm looking at the schedule and the standings and seeing how that works. So I am not entirely sure. Nope, Seattle Star Raptors are gone. I don't know who is then. Who is the seed over there? It could potentially be Elliot. So it's, I think we're fighting either Seattle Sea Kings or Rochester Rhydons or Chicago Cub Chews. One of those teams we're fighting, I think. Either way, I've been having a blast in this season. Uh, I think we're we're at a that's six six weeks in a row we've won, and that's pretty awesome. I don't think anyone saw that coming. And I think that's, uh, yeah, we got eight wins, four losses. So we're doing pretty good this season. Hopefully we can uh, take home a championship title. That would be amazing. But, you know, we'll prep this one game at a time. So we'll see you next week with whoever we fight. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.